the ring scope blades for me? Yeah, the first blade we have is a Macintosh blade. The second laryngoscope has a paediatric McGill blade. The third laryngoscope has a polio blade. And the fourth has a McCoy. What is the difference and how are they used? Okay. The first blade is the Macintosh blade. It's uh, the standard adult intubating blade in the UK. It's got a large curved blade which is inserted into the follicular, and this is used to lift the epiglottis out of the way. The second blade we have is a paediatric straight blade McGill and the tip is used to uh, be positioned behind the epiglottis and directly lifts it out of the way. The third blade is the polio blade. It's got a degree of 150 degrees. It is used in obstetric and bariatric patients and the tip is inserted again into the vellacula to help lift the epiglottis um, out of the way in order to view the larynx. And the fourth blade is the McCoy blade on the laryngoscope and again it's inserted into the follicular but it has a handle which allows us to lift the tip of the blade which is said to improve a grade 3 to a grade 2 or a grade 2 to a grade 1. What's the difference in the cardiovascular response between the McGill's and the Macintosh? In the Macintosh blade, the tip is inserted into the follicular. This stimulates the glossal pharyngeal nerve, which can give you a tachycardic response. Conversely, in the straight bladed McGill, the um, vagus nerve is stimulated, and which can result in a bradycardia. What are the different parts of a laryngoscope? The standard parts of the laryngoscope are the handle, the blade, the fibre optic bundle and light source and the battery is housed inside the handle. And what are the features of a modern laryngoscope? A modern laryngoscope um, contains a disposable blade, it has a handle, a fibre optic bundle and may contain um, xenon gas as a light source to give a more bright light. If you obtain a poor view of the larynx at a first attempt, what would your next step be? My next step would be to come out, reposition the patient um, optimally, or to apply quicker pressure in a backwards, upwards and right pressure. How would you grade the laryngoscopic view? The view can be graded from 1 to 4. In a grade 1, the full glottis is seen. In a 2A, the posterior part of the glottis is visible. In a 2B, only the arytenoids are seen. In a grade 3A, the epiglottis um, is seen but can be lifted from the pharyngeal wall. But in a 3B, it is adherent to the posterior pharyngeal wall. And in a grade 4, not even the epiglottis is seen.